Do you, um, I don't know if you did any research. Do you know who the director of the Twelfth Veil is? Like it to the industry. Um. No. Mm. Well, he produced and helped write almost all of Rashka Maharani's films. Not Dunkey. It uh, showed. A lot of people said that's where the magic was lost. It showed. Uh, and he is the husband of Anupam Chopra from Film Companion. That's who she's married to. I wonder if she reviewed it. She uh, Why not? But she probably can't. She'd seen it many times, and she's very biased. Yeah, but I think she... I, I mean, I could... Like, <laughs> this film it, didn't work for me. <laughs> yeah, no, I would do... That's one of the things that's going to be... I mean, that's one of my greatest dreads, is to have to do a press junket and promote something that you're in that you know isn't good. Yeah. That's my biggest dread because I just cannot be dishonest about those things. <laughs> I'll be calling in sick those days. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, <laughs> right. Man, I just loved watching this whole concept of people cheating on each other. It's just great. <laughs> um, no, yeah, I, you know how I feel about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. I, I, I enjoyed it, um, especially the performances uh, and the stories of it uh, in terms of um, it, it being about a woman finding herself and finding not herself and another man even finding herself uh, as a person and who she wants to be for the rest of her life and that's the the overall uh, an incredibly empowering film for 1982 yeah. and for for a woman uh, i think the the women definitely carried the film yes um obviously it's a woman centric story but um the the shmita and and shambana i believe right yeah um and I, I, I enjoyed the, the men as well, uh, especially Raj's character. I thought he was a really green flag character for sure, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, which is for 1980s in India. I was like, oh, wow, he's pretty darn progressive. Yeah, for, very for, much. For his character. Sure is. Um, there were some obviously same thing, same thing that, that you saw that I was like, okay, that's probably a, a something that's dated or that was the acting style. Yeah, and some in, smaller roles were pretty dreadful. Yeah, in, in, in certain <clears> scenes, <throat> not most. Most of the scenes, especially with Shabana and Shemitah, were were really really nice especially yes. especially the end uh when it was them two and in, in, in one scene i really really appreciated that scene um but overall i i enjoy the film it's one that's been recommended to us a lot um for one these actors uh, shmito we know well but then <laughs> i think people wanted us to uh when we when we saw rocky irani and we didn't know who who shabana, shabana was, was yeah they were like We've done a disservice to uh, Ricky Corbin, the <laughs> fact that this is their first uh, experience. With yeah, because she's done over 100 <laughs> films, I saw. Yeah, so exactly. I would love and to. And I can see why. Yeah, it, it, let's talk about her. Yeah. Uh, who just obviously the stand. She's the lead in the film. Um, she she did such a, a brilliant job. Her her arc in this thing was a yeah, Great vast. character. Uh, great character to play. And I, whether it was her, whether it was the directing, was a little bit of both. I loved everything about her character in terms of what they did. Because obviously in the beginning, you're like, oh, this is a, a lovely couple. And then what she did or what she was directed to do when she found out um, uh, when he was cheating on her, when mm. he finally told her, like, she was just so standoffish. And, and like, normally people praise, like, you know, when you give a big monologue or, or stuff like that. But what she was doing was so believable mm -hmm. in that moment. I agree. Um, uh, I really loved it. Um, my favorite <laughs> line in the whole movie. I don't know if you liked it as well, but he came back and it was after she, she was like, don't ever mention her name again. And, and then he came back and I think was asking for the divorce papers on her birthday. Yeah. Right? He didn't Maybe. remember her yeah, birthday. Yeah, awful. Right. Yeah. But <laughs> she, he was like, uh, Kavita. Yeah, Kavita. Kavita's not well. And she just said, who? Who? I know. <laughs> I loved that as well. I was like, Damn. Just Mic a drop. straight face. Just she's like who? Who? <laughs> she's like Don't know that person. <laughs> I'm not familiar with who you're she's talking. She's dead to about. me. I'm not familiar with who you're talking about. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I love that too. <laughs> I love that whole line. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, her her performance was uh, was really great. I I loved her chemistry with um, Raj, and then the fact that I was like, okay, this is 1980s. They're probably gonna end up together. Because obviously he's so nice. He's like, he's such a, exactly what she's looking for. And then they flipped it and they were like, I'm not looking for anything right now. And multiple things she said, even to him, was like, I don't want to feel anymore. Mm -hmm. I just, I, do, I don't want to feel while living. I just, because right. you've been hurt. Yeah. Obviously. The, the other thing that I thought was really great, because it's true. The realization that Kavita has. Yeah. When she looks at Indira and she says, I've come. I've come to understand something. You cheated on Pooja. Mm -hmm. You're gonna cheat on me. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, you will. Mm -hmm. And that's the truth. Yeah. You're. What? You're a cheater. Yep. Um, Absolutely. I really. And I don't want to. It was difficult because I read that this is somewhat. This is semi autobiographical. Oh really? Yes. On oh, an affair. Hope. On an affair that 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 he Mahesh Bahat had had. He had, this is with an actress. Of, yes, yes. Oh, this okay. was semi autobiographical, where oh, wow. he is, uh, I believe, he is the Indir character, and Pooja is, you know, that's the wife, and then there's an actress, and he's a film director. Oh wow! All okay. of those things are gotcha. very connected, and I, I didn't want to do a psychological analysis of 
why he did what he did. I don't know if this was something that was cathartic and cleansing for him or if it was something just being open and transparent. I wanted to give the benefit of the doubt mm. of irrespective of the motive of why you make a film like this. I appreciate the nature of revealing something this openly for the sake of art. Yeah. And the sake of talking about the human condition. Yeah. I also appreciated that he didn't, um, he didn't even really, as bad as Indir is, he didn't demonize him. Yeah. Which I'm sure comes from his own perspective of having been yeah, in that, it was pretty in that easy situation. To hate him, though. <laughs> Very easy to hate him. <laughs> yeah. He he was he was he's a cheater yeah. and a liar. Yeah. And just um, selfish and but I, I I think my favorite part about all of it is the empowerment of of, of both women, but especially Pooja. Yeah. And for her to walk with her head held high, not just I'm living on my own in a world and a place that says I need a man. I'm going to be raising a kid that isn't mine at the same time. Yeah. That is damn powerful. I, yeah, absolutely. Uh, the the women, the the empowerment in this film is incredible. Is, is great, especially in 1982. Um, and, and we've seen it many times from India that they're like, whoa, they were making this stuff. Yeah. And, this whatever year it was, uh, we've seen that a lot. But I, I did appreciate actually the um, the maid character as well. That, oh, yeah. that whole story. That uh, too was a point of empowerment. In that, mm -hmm. I felt your your thoughts are about the legal system of the amount of abuse she has had at the hands of that man, and it eventually reached a point where it went to overflow, and she was what we consider today here a crime of passion. Yeah, she probably with a good attorney get off. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, but not in that situation. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I couldn't, I just, I know it happens all the time, but the amount of people telling Pooja, oh, just forgive him. He'll yeah. come back. You know, he's a man. Really infuriating. Yeah. <laughs> but again, how many times have we seen from Indian cinema, but especially the parallel cinema, these really progressive yeah. woman empowering. Um, yeah. I mean, go back. Which I, my understanding is with parallel cinema, it really begins with Bengali cinema. And look at films we've seen that have empowerment of women. Yeah. It's it's huge. Yeah. The, uh, and then when fucking Inder, <laughs> he left uh, K K Kavita or whatever her name is. And then went back. And he's like, I'll take you back now. And she said, go fuck you. She didn't yeah. really. But she basically said, yeah, no. I don't think so. Yeah. I, I was yeah. hoping, because what did she say at the end? She was like, tell me one thing. Oh, yeah. If you did, if if I did, would you take me back? Right. Which was a great line. Yeah. But I was hoping she was like, I will take you back. Tell me when my birthday is. Mm. <laughs> yeah. That's what I wanted. But what they wrote was probably better. Yeah. And, <laughs> and I, both ladies did. Superlative jobs. I really enjoyed the end scene. Yeah, and Shabana has a a. It's the old adage: the camera's gonna love you, or the camera's not gonna love you. Mm -hmm. And it goes it goes into more than just aesthetics. It, it it has to do with a magnetism that comes from the act from the person themselves. Because there's a lot of people who wouldn't be on the cover of a magazine as a model. She would, but there's a lot of people who wouldn't be on the cover of a magazine, but the camera loves them. Yeah. Um, and. It, she's one of those people that just the camera loves her. Yeah. Anytime she was on screen, I was captivated. She carried the film for me. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, her, her and Shmita, uh, that, that end scene where, where Shmita's going all crazy. Um, Which I thought for, for a time where it's really difficult to grasp mental illness without making it a caricature. Yeah. She did a great job. Yeah, she was having panic attacks, which they didn't call panic attacks. Yeah, but she wasn't like overdoing it and trying to play mentally ill. I could really see her trying to incarnate the problems that this yeah. woman was facing. Both of them were standout. And I want to shout out Mahesh um, Bot because this actually felt a lot of times that it was directed by a female. Just yeah. To, maybe it was because the, the performances were so good. Because a lot of times you can tell, especially if it's a female-driven story. Not that females always have to tell female-driven stories. No. Obviously, that's not. I don't believe that. But a lot of times you can tell when something's directed by a man. But yeah. Just by the perspective that it's it, that it's giving, especially on this subject matter. Yeah. Don't uh, give the, the man some more leeway than he should be given. Sure. Or stuff like that. Well, especially if it's semi-autobiographical. He, he didn't take the film to make a justification yeah, for his no, actions no, at more all more the opposite really it was very much uh uh here's what it's like to be human and, yeah and uh, make mistakes all, and the mistakes that are made yeah um i i i and um the the character of raj that i i did appreciate and i and i was shocked that there were 
a couple songs in this, but I did appreciate his songs. I liked them, especially the uh, the first one where she was sitting at the party. Yeah, when obviously it was an introspective song for right. her, basically. But I I liked that song a lot. I thought it was very very pretty. Yeah, I didn't have a problem with it. It just shocked me because I know Parallel Cinema is known for not including that. Yeah, I don't think they don't have them. Yeah, always. But yeah, yeah I think a lot of the times just because. At least to make them big song numbers, that's money. <laughs> and the one thing I had to force myself through, just as just a technical thing, again, it's it's part of the day, was 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 two aspects. The first one was there's no ambient sound anywhere for anything really. Oh yeah. And the amount of reverb they had on the dubbing was just off the charts, especially at the at the outset. There was a lot of reverb. I didn't notice that. Yeah, it was it was tough. I, I got past it, I but those kinds one. of things can be distracting yeah, for I me. I didn't notice that. <laughs> uh, anyways, overall, I, I enjoyed the film. I'm glad we finally got to it. Uh, a lot of people uh, have been waiting for us to get to this for numerous reasons, obviously. For the director, for the actresses, for the just parallel cinema in general, for 80s yeah, cinema. Yeah, I understand that uh, Kobushan is very well known in the world of, of parallel cinema. Uh, well, apparently we saw him in Lagan. Oh, yeah? It's right there. Header. Header. Oh, Holy crap. That's that guy? Wait, that's the guy? Mind blown. That's Mizapur? That's the grandpa in Mirzapur? Oh, wow. Yeah, we're done, buddy. Wow. Hold on. I'm going to confirm this here. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. Right when I saw him, I was like, oh, yeah, that's him. <laughs> he kind of looks like Modi in that picture, actually. On his IMDb page, doesn't he? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I did we not know. We always live up to the name, kids. I'm, I'm, I'm picturing his face. I, in the movie I knew now. he looked familiar to me, and I thought, yeah, I've seen him probably in some other films, but nothing that I really would have known. Yeah, that is him, isn't it? Wow. Yeah, and he did. Wow. A, and he did a very good job. It's just he's. The, it, these are the n not never roles that you're like, oh, I love that role of that cheating man. <laughs> no, but. <laughs> But it's anybody who did parallel cinema was a lover of the art form, a lover of theater, a lover of um, the whole coming from Italy and France did it as well at the time. And this resurgence of, of uh, realism became very, very important. Um, so at, thespians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just mind blown. <laughs> yeah. I'm so glad we just saw that. His voice also reminds me. Uh, at that time, of Nasir's voice at that time. When he first know. walked in, I, I was watching it, and Indrani, she'd seen it, so she, she was just watching a little bit with me. The moment he walked in, I went, oh, is that Nasir? But went, no. No, no, it's not. He didn't do every parallel cinema film, Rick. No. <laughs> <gasps> oh, he's in The Crew. The Crew's with um, Karina, Taboo, and Creedy. Oh, and Creedy. I think it's about a flight crew. Yeah, Dilgit. and Dilgit. Comes out this year. Um, wow. Anyways... Uh, uh, We're learning every day, kids. Yeah, exactly. Let us know uh, what you thought about the film, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, and uh, what should be the next parallel cinema uh, from Mahesh, from these actresses, from these actors, uh, from or just in general. Obviously, in general. I know uh, we get to a lot more 90s cinema a lot of times than 80s, so obviously let us know what the next 80s film should be. Classic month is coming up. I typically, especially for Hindi, like classics to be pre-80s, just because I want it to be the much older stuff. Um, but if it's something that's really important, I could slide to 1985. But I would, especially for Hindi, I'd like to keep it mostly pre-80s. Yeah, yeah. Um, just because they've been around a lot longer, the history. Of right. Them. As opposed to like Malayalam, even though they've been around, their golden era, from what I'm told, is 80s. 90s. Yeah, it's later. Um, so anyways, let us know what you thought about this film, which will be the next Parallel cinema we should watch down below.